to walk out. It's a festival of football walk out. Hello boys, my name is JB. Welcome back to the Grind to Glory. As ever, if you enjoy the content, please give me a like on the video. It will help the channel out. And yes, today is rewards day, but I've also done marquee matchups and I've got squad battles rewards. Just to explain, I've not played this game since last weekend when I did well not last week since last week when I did the squad battles for the icon swap tokens where I got that Harry Kane and Alfonso Davis but um, yeah so we've got division rivals we've got squad battles and we've got marquee matchups to bring you Squad battles, I think I got gold one, and it gave me a premium electrum players pack and a prime gold players pack and, and whatnot. I've been out, and I have revolutionized the team. I have changed the team completely, and I'm about to show you why. That is the team right now. As you can see in goal is team of the season, Manuel Neuer, Lucas Hernandez, partnering Alfonso Davies at left back there the rat combination of Varane and Mendy is gone I went and I purchased Neymar for 103,000 coins five star five star he's played four games for me four goals and three assists he is brilliant honestly um, Puskas I brought into the middle but he's playing more of an advanced role in game Still got the French duo there of Kante and St. Maximin. Still got the ratty duo of Walker and Tomato at the back. And this guy. Team of the season, Harry Kane. Four, go four games played. Three goals, two assists. And I'll tell you what. He is clinical. Absolutely clinical. Oh, uh, we've got Wasim Ben Yedder. Who's played 22 games for me already. Wow, that's a lot. And he scored 12 goals. Which is absolutely lovely. On the bench there you can see it's just people that I'm not going to use really. Unless I bring have to bring someone on. I've not used this Bamber I don't think. No, I've not used Bamber at all. Uh, Isaac, Fellaini. This Dybala that I've used for God knows how long. You know. So... Uh, I got rank 4, which is what I got last week, I think. We've taken the untradeable option. I don't think I wanted to do that. We've got 12 lovely packs there for you all. So we can open them. <clears throat> so... The Jumbo Gold Packs are the untradeable packs, I think. I'm not expecting much out of this, I'm telling you. It is Quates, Sebastian Quates. The second untradeable um, pack here. I nearly forgot the word then. Is that a walkout or a board? I don't think it is. No, it isn't. It's a jumbo gold pack. Don't be silly. And it's Veghorst. Alright, jumbo premium gold pack. <clears throat> Let's see what we get here. Not a board or a walkout. I'm just going to skip this, I think. If it's not a board or a walkout, it's not really worth showing all that much. Another Jumbo Premium to open. Now we're on to the, the tradable packs. Now I think there's only one other non-tradable one. And that's not a very good pack, is it? Alright, Gold Players Pack. Let's go. Let's see what we get here. There you go. It's not a board again. Bon, bon, Bornel, Bornil, Binil, whatever his name is. Now, 
I forgot. I forgot that was a. Uh, I had Marky matchups um, packs in here. From now on, these packs, anything I don't need, I'm going to sell, actually. Because I, I've got a really good team. If it doesn't improve my team, I'm selling it. Because why not, really? Why not? Uh, a granite jacker. That picture's a bit outdated now that he has blonde hair. It may be fodder, but it's got to go. Small rare gold players pack. Oh, it was such an itch. Got bitten yesterday. It's a board. Here we go. It is Godine. No, it isn't. It's Jimenez. Not bad. 84. Slow as hell, but he'll fetch us some coinage. Pack. I'm not really asked about the order we do it in today. It's a walkout. It's a festival of football walkout. It's Dutch. Centre back, it is De Vrij. Is it De Vrij? No, it's De Ligt. And that's from a tradable pack as well. How much is he? We'll have a look. It's the first one we've got during this promo because I've not played the game during this promo. He is nearly 200k. Wow, I'm going to have to get a proper price on him. Just bear with. Now, he's 197k. In all honesty, the Netherlands are not going to get through. Uh, uh, well, they're not going to go that far into the tournament, are they? So, I'm going to put him up for that. He's on He's on the trade pile. He's getting sold already. So, that is lovely. Not bad at all. For that I'm not sure if this is a tradable pack or not. It's one of the prime mix players, prime electrums, I think. Not even a board again. There we are. That is Alex Ramiro. Anyway, uh, so one of these prime mix players packs is untradable. I expect that the tradable packs will be first, unless I'm very much mistaken. Just a rare player again, and it is in Nui. So, by power of deduction, this one is tradable as well. So, the net last one is untradable. This is a Libertadores card, which means a better player might be behind him. <laughs> Don't be silly, Jay. Remy can go down, and this is the last one of these packs for this episode not even a board or a walkout it's a Harvey so <clears throat> if there's one lesson to be learned from this and I say this constantly on stream constantly in my videos is do your marking matchups as you can see there are a 200k player out of that and we were all good. I put in an investment of what? I'd say about 2k really for a player that I needed for one of the, the lower the lower tier SBCs within that. So if if you're struggling to make coins, just do marquee matchups. I did put up a little bit of coinage and then sell everything. Because it, in the long run you will see the rewards. So if you would allow me just for a couple of minutes to ramble about the content I'm going to bring you from now on. Look at this team, right? You'd think with this team, I went out and went through the trouble of buying Neymar, right? With this team, you'd think that I'd be more pumped than ever, more motivated than ever to bring you good content to play Weekend League. To play rivals, to grind the objectives. And do you know what? I, I've not got that motivation at the moment. I'm sorry. And I'm, I've am i looked at my past few videos. And really, um, you can see it in my face. I'm not, I'm not enjoying the game. And, and that's 
that's transcribed in in streams and that because I've been streaming other games and my my views haven't been that good lately. But the future plan is I don't know how long I'm going on for this series for FIFA 21 anymore. Okay, if we get any more, you know, pulls like we just did with Delict, I might carry on. But um you know, usually after team of the season every year, I slow right down playing FIFA and I go on to other things. And I can feel myself doing it now. Usually after team of the year, I have a couple of months off of FIFA. Usually because I'm bashing team of the year, etc, etc. Um, I'm going to re release a separate video regarding the content on this channel anyway. But what I'm going to say is this. I'm not saying this is the end of the grind to glory this year, but I've already started brainstorming ideas for FIFA 22. Naturally, the game cycle for FIFA 21 now is now going to wind right down, and most of the big streamers as well and content creators aren't getting much views. Uh, their views are going down slightly because people aren't interested in watching this game anymore. Um... A big catalyst for that for me is is that the gameplay isn't good enough from EA. We know EA can make brilliant games um, and for some reason they just haven't. The first few weeks of this game the gameplay was fine but they nerfed and patched different things that it was like whack-a-mole. You, you, you get hold of one little problem and another one would sprout up and the game was just full of bugs and, and, and stuff that you can, you know, stuff you can abuse really. I mean, the kickoff glitch has been in the game for, for the last few years. If you enjoyed the content, please give this a like, subscribe, put the notification bell on because it helps me immensely. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one. Come on, England. If you want to interact with me more, look at my socials down below. Send me a DM and I'll happily talk to you there. Or look that way to the playlist if you haven't seen any of the earlier episodes.